Hello everyone, my name is Quant and welcome to Starbound. I'm not gonna go through any specific about game developments and everything like that. I'm gonna leave a link in the description so you can check out by yourself. But it's basically, if I'm gonna keep it short, like uh, Terraria, which probably most of you guys know what it is. But it's like uh, a second version, a little more detail, a, l a little better version I have to say myself. I see more potential with this than Terraria and Terraria is actually loads of fun. I played it quite a bit and it's uh, loads of fun. I've come back to it uh, a couple of times. I have already played this uh, a little to learn I guess. <laughs> but we are gonna create a new character and right from the beginning I really like the idea. They got a actually character creation that actually is something. It's not you just select your guy and pick a hairstyle that looks weird as fuck. <laughs> you can actually choose a species. We got the human, the avian, which looks like bird thing is, the apex, which is like apes. Um, Floron, which is like flower thing, as you can see here, you select the gender. These guys, which I have no idea what they are. And Glitch, which is like robots. <laughs> I really like how they define the gender, like this is a male and this is a female. <laughs> really funny. Um, I wanna see, like... What? <laughs> These guys looks weird as fuck. And there are loads of customization to the character creation actually. I created my other character and so many hair options. Not much for the clothing but you, you get gear and that's kind of what you look like when you get armor and such. But really there are loads of hair and they got skin colors as well like it's quite a a uh, wide variety and you can select like color like belly color for apparently fin color I can apparently change so I can look like that <laughs> and then of course the normal clothing <laughs> yeah the feather color plumage oh I really like this guy I'm gonna be one of these guys, an avian. What do we got? There are loads of customization. I like that one, so I'm gonna go with that. What color do I want? <laughs> it can be a pink bird. I kind of like the light blue, so I'm gonna go with that. Shirts, usually not that much color. I'm actually uh, oh, oh, variety. I'm gonna select another uh, color so I can see what's the shirt. Okay, so it's not loads of. Uh, uh, well, uh, yellow, I can see. Well, apparently not. That one is yellow, but. Okay, so they automatically have to wear like a skirt thingy, even though I choose to be a dude. Okay, I'm gonna choose a female just because of that. But then, god damn it! Well, I actually like that. I like that. Um, I'm just gonna change the color. Yeah. Personality. You can even change how they look like when they stand still, and it's really cool, like more frightening or like chest out, more courage, and I don't know. <laughs> Got a pee? <laughs> Very stiff. Oh, yes, yeah. I'm gonna go with that one. Uh, I was gonna call him Quant, but since he became a girl. 
Um, let's go with that. Yeah, sounds good enough. We're gonna jump right into the game, and here we are. We got a little bit of background story, and kind of like a tutorial how to l learn and play the game and such. So, you have narrowly escaped the wrath of the stargazers. Your ship has run out of fuel in orbit of an unknown planet. Before setting out in search of fuel, search your ship's storage for a matter manipulator. That's an item. Press E to interact with objects. Alright. And this is the... Sorry. This is the ship locker and that... That is the matter manipulator. Oh, I'm gonna... Yeah, I am right clicking. It doesn't give automatically to the... Um, to the inventory, which would be nice if they added. So you just right click items and they go to your inventory. Gonna put these things out here. There we go. And I completed the quest. Well done, the matter manipulator allows you to manipulate almost anything in the game world. This is basically your starter gathering tool and the tool you use to build, basically. So it's time to search the planet for fuel. To survive down there you'll need tools. To produce tools you need to make yourself a crafting table. Use your ship's teleporter platform to beam down. And that's this thing. I'm just gonna warp the planet. There was some lag during that. Uh, just that animation, the warping down thing. All these trees look very odd. And this is my sword. Looks very odd indeed. Give me one moment and I'm gonna turn down the quality just a tiny bit and to make the game run a little more fluent so just give me a small moment. Yeah this will have to do. Uh, I'm sorry it, it might lag a little bit. If I'm gonna continue this series I'm actually gonna use uh, Fraps instead of x which I'm using now. But I don't have uh, access to the external hard drive that I need to record because Fraps just takes up too much space and I don't have the space on the computer. So I'm sorry if this first video is gonna be a little bit laggy. Hopefully you kinda get the idea, the combat is not really that exciting anyways. So I'm just gonna use this beam thingy and cut down some trees. They're metal trees, I don't even know if I'm gonna gather wood from this. And if I don't, I, I honestly don't know what to do. Okay, so apparently I still get wood from there. Hey, right in my inventory there. A little odd, and that's happening. You can actually place those. I'm gonna do that right away. And it's gonna grow into trees. Alright, so. I press Z. No, not Z, uh, Z. And I go into my crafting thingy. <laughs> Sorry, uh, my nose was itching a little bit. And I want this. Which is your crafting table, basically. So I need wooden planks. I got here wooden planks, and it cost me wood to do so. So I'm gonna turn all my wood into planks, and then I'm gonna create the table. See that created? I think it lagged right when I clicked. There we go. I got a table, and com quest complete. Well done, using your crafting to crafting table. Using the crafting table will give you access to a wide, wide range of new recipes. Collecting fuel and visiting a range of planets is the best way to find resources. The text kind of glitched together there. And yes, this game is in early beta, and there is actually a warning when you open the game that it is in early beta. And Bugs are accepted and such, so bear with me if there are some bugs. Alright, so by now you're likely beginning to feel hungry. Food can be found in a variety of places, but in a pinch, hunting is your best option. 
obtain some alien meat because we were alien by killing a monster with a bow and cook it on a campfire to produce cooked alien meat. You can actually get food by just swinging swords at them, but not nearly as often, and I don't know why, but sometimes I get food and sometimes I don't, and I don't know if that's as specific to the species that I like, killed that give me the food, I haven't really figured that out. But I basically want a bow, and here we see a hunting bow. So I need plant fiber and I need more wood. So I'm gonna go ahead and collect the first tree I can see. And one thing that is kind of cool with this game is actually that when I cut down this tree, it actually falls based on which side I'm at. So now I'm on the left side, it's gonna fall on the to the right side. To you, it's gonna be like, yeah. But you understand? It actually falls right in front of me. So I can actually choose which direction I wanna cut down the tree. I think that is just an awesome little extra thing. Gonna kill this rhino. Hopefully without taking some damage. I feel there is a slight delay in the combat. But, like I said, combat is not really exciting. I actually found something very interesting right away. Can I open? Oh, I could. These things are scattered around all the pla place. Um, not these rooms, but um, this is actually a very cool room. I'm gonna take that. And yes, I can steal the map, whatever I want. I'm gonna steal the doors as well. Um, but those... Uh, containers thingy and uh, destroying them gives me this which is pixels is basically money your currency in this game I'm gonna take this so I need the fiber thingy majingy and I actually get that by cutting down these and yeah the range on this gathering tool thingy is like really insane you can see I can get down from here but it takes some time you can craft the uh, axes and pickaxes later. Uh, it actually goes way faster to harvest. But the fun thing about this beam thing is that it's got a ridiculous range. <laughs> but as you can see, it takes really long time. With an axe, I could cut that down in like three seconds. <laughs> three seconds is actually a long time. It doesn't even take that. <laughs> but anyways, um, we're gonna try and. You know what? I could actually make this kind of my home. Not bad, it's actually close to the spawn and it's already flattened out a bit, so it's actually not that bad of idea. I'm actually gonna do that. Uh, where's my door set? Go, I'm gonna take them and place them back. I just stole the doors and now I place them back. I must be a retard. Yes, I am. Uh, it's a little, yeah, it's not much room to jump, <laughs> but anyways, and I need to flatten this out because I need, I probably need to dig down and make a underground area as well because there are quite a bit of stuff that you want to place down. Anyways, we're gonna go in here, we're gonna craft a bow. And I got a bow now, I'm gonna put it on my number four. These things are some uh, temporarily Halloween thingy. Halloween. <laughs> Christmas thingy. Well, God, I'm late. <laughs> um, but yeah, I got a bow now, and yes, I get arrows automatically, and you kind of charge up. You see, by the time the arrow starts blinking, that's when it's fully charged. If you fire before it, uh, the arrow can go like, eh. Yeah. And doesn't do full damage. So it is like actually like a bone arrow. It's harder to use than the sword, but you get meat. I think that's a little sad, because it kind of makes you needing to use the bow, and in my opinion, and that's the thing about this game though, it's in very early beta so they can work with this, but it got some cool character creation, but once inside the game, you can't really play it differently. You always have your weapons. Sure, you can get one-handed weapons, two-handed weapons, you can get spears that kind of like thrust forward. Or you can use the bow for combat, but the bow is weak and it takes so long time to charge up. You can see up here I got a stamina bar which goes down when I use the bow. It doesn't go down when I use the sword, so I can't really stay in combat 
all that long with the bow. And I think that is a little sad because you can't really go into the game and be like, I'm gonna play an archer or I'm gonna play a knight. You really have to use a melee weapon and a bow to hunt, which is a little sad. And there is no magic or something like that into the game, at least for the start. I haven't got that long, <laughs> that far. I played like five hours or something like that. Um, but yeah, anyways, we're gonna continue on. I can actually pick up that. Is that... Yeah, I can eat that. That's good. Food. Okay, so we're gonna hunt here. Oh, god. And yeah, the AI in this game is stupid, just like in Terraria. So we're gonna kill this guy. But there are some things that I really like about this game, and I see very much potential. And using the bow is actually really hard with this lag. It doesn't lag much, but it's some. Like, it's a small delay and it's not as fluent as it used to be. I actually can't kill this shit. <laughs> Die. I'm gonna create bandages. And you can create bandages from um, these things that you use to craft the bow as well. And can I use it? You can just put it in a number bar. Or you just drag it out of the inventory and basically left click. You can see down there I replenish some health. I also got a hunger bar. If I press uh, Alt, you can see it goes up here. Wow, for some reason that lagged like shit when I got it up. You can see I'm actually a little hungry, so I can go ahead and eat my grapes here. Om, 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 om. There we go, now that one comes up. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can kill this guy because I, I kind of need some food <laughs> or I will need to re rely completely on fruits there you go you see drop meat when you use the bow they drop meat or hide I think you can make some hide armor but really I don't see any reason to and I'm actually gonna make more I can't make more bandages and it takes ages to get those uh, I, d I don't n know what they do. Those things I do not understand what they do. Like, I tried collecting it, nothing happened, and when I activated it, like, I don't know what happened. Those, I have no idea what they are. Um, What am I trying to do? Yeah, okay, I'm trying to do nothing, actually. <laughs> um. Here I got my mission, and in progress, food fight, you can see I'm supposed to cook. And uh, what do I need to cook? Well, I need a campfire. And I got some things chasing me, he's actually faster than me. Oh, uh, you saw the, maybe, maybe you saw, the arrow was like, there, it was like glowing, yeah, slightly, or whatever you want to call it. And that's actually some kind of like, a critical strike that I have deals more damage. So there are things like criticals and stuff like that. Now let's see here. I can make a campfire. So I'm gonna make a campfire. You can place this campfire wherever the fuck you want. And here you can see as well I can just drag it out and click here. Or I can just place it on my number seven for example and select it and place it wherever I want. And you can see that's the end of the range of this beam. That's the range of the beam. It's actually quite long. I'm gonna place it there because it really doesn't matter and I can rearrange. I can just pick it up just by using the beam. Um, so, anyways, I'm gonna cook the meat which is here. And I don't need anything to keep the fire going, which is okay in my opinion because that's just, in my opinion, a uh, annoying thing when you like, you need to get cold and wood to keep the fire going and such and that's a little taking the I like the survival thingy but not when it taken too far because it it kind of gets boring if you do <laughs> okay uh, sorry I didn't read that you can go back and read if you want <laughs> but anyways new quest it's time to craft a furnace to melt things obviously You'll need to obtain some cobblestone, a campfire, and some coal. If you'd like to know exactly how much uh, of uh, each you need, access crafting table, unclick material, 
uh, available and do, 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 do. that's basically if you go here and activate it by pressing E or just go to C it works as well um, you can see all the different things I can do and we can go to furnace let's see if I can actually find it There we go, st stone furnace. You can see it requires a campfire and five cobblestones. And here you got the material available. If you check that, you, it only shows you things that you can make out of the materials you got. So, yeah, that's basically what it is. And I actually want a pickaxe ASAP, and then I want a stone axe ASAP. Uh, do I have more wood? Press that. No, so I need more wood and stone, obviously. <coughs> oh, he's starting to get night time, I guess, because that guy s looks a little devilish. Whoa, I got some lags back there. Uh, during night time, the monsters get stronger. Uh, the most annoying part also is that most of the creature doesn't really drop anything. A little sad, there is no right looting part. If you kill them with the bow and arrow you can get, like I said, leather or uh, meat. And if you... Well... I don't know, if you kill them normally you can get money, but that's basically it. Looting wise you have to craft and that's actually okay, but it's a little sad when you kill something and it doesn't reward you anything. If if you're gonna get money from killing monsters, I think you should get money from killing every single monster because it hates when you kill a monster and doesn't get anything out of it. Really does feel like a bummer. But I'm actually gonna end this first video here, we're just getting started um, on our robotic alien jungle looking planet so in the next video we are gonna get the furnace we're gonna get a pickaxe and a stone yeah stone pickaxe and a stone axe so we can actually collect more things and actually do this a little faster and here's another thing that I really like which is cool now when it became night time I just gonna finish this up before I finish the video because it just popped up uh, when it comes to nighttime, you see these things come up. It's actually a temperature meter. Like, if you stay out in the night too long, you actually freeze. I don't know if snow planets, because there exist snow planets, if they actually like drain faster. I would think they do, but there are snow planets that are supposed to be as easy like this uh, planet, like that uh, planet, for example. Probably is supposed to be as easy and as this. So if you get cold faster it kind of becomes harder so I don't know if that is actually the case but I really like that it's cool and if you keep uh, close to a stone uh, bleh, a campfire or just a torch you will um, get back that heat and I think that's really cool um, but yeah in the next video we're gonna craft some things and be able to get more materials out there um, I hope you like this video, uh, probably like the first two or three episodes are gonna be in XSplit. Hopefully the lag is not too devastating because it isn't for me, it's just some things like when this move up it's just really slow and it's some small delay. Hopefully that doesn't really affect how you see how the game because it's really fluent normally really recommend checking out the video in the description everything like it's on steam right now you can get it right now it's in early beta though so expect some bugs and things and maybe some unbalancing and not most up to date they're gonna change loads of stuff but definitely check out the game if you're interesting or check out my other videos of it if, if they're out because I like the game so far, I see loads of potential in it and I can't wait until it actually is being more developed and uh, actually get more stuff put into it because I really see loads of potential in it. 
But that's gonna be that. Please subscribe and leave a like if you did. If you wanna help my channel grow, then favorite, share it, comment always helps out a lot. It's all of, always fun for me to receive that. Um, definitely. And uh, with that, I will see you guys next time.